This video features the following information and procedures related to Falk and Falk Renew and closed gear drives manufactured by Rexnord. Rexnord is a leading manufacturer of gear drives and gear sets for the heavy duty industrial market. Rexnord's Falk gear drives are engineered to minimize stress and wear and to extend service life. When not in use, the proper long term storage is essential to help prevent failures upon startup, protect your warranty, and make sure you get the best performance over the lifetime of your gearbox. Falk and Falk Renew enclosed gear drives can be protected against corrosion at the factory prior to shipment for the corresponding time periods based on the factory ship date that is stamped on the drive nameplate. So please be sure to specify that your gearbox be prepared for long-term storage when placing your order. Each unit that's prepared for long-term storage is spin-tested with rust-preventative oil, pressure-tested, and charged with vapor phase rust inhibitor at the factory. Informative tape is applied to critical locations to deter breakage of the sealed condition. Tampering with this tape will indicate that the factory prepared long-term storage has been compromised and may affect your warranty. Shaft extension seals are protected with a grease purge and exposed bare metal coated with a polar type rust inhibiting compound. Unsealed dipsticks are shipped loose with the drive while a plug is put in place of the dipstick. And depending on the type of gearbox, sealed RTDs may already be installed in the unit prior to shipment or shipped loose with a plug in its place on the drive. This long-term storage preparation can protect your gearbox for up to 24 months if stored correctly. So be sure to request this when ordering your Falk or Falk Renew gearbox. It's important to keep the unit in an isolated spot when placing it into storage. The best place is a dry building where the drive will not come in contact with water. Also, be sure to keep the gearbox away from any form of vibrating machinery and away from the driving path of forklifts or similar equipment that could transmit vibrations to the stored unit. An outdoor shelter can also be used for storage. The gearbox should be positioned on blocks, keeping it off the ground. You should have a sturdy frame around the unit and cover it with a tarpaulin, leaving the bottom open for ventilation. Do not use a plastic cover. Again, be sure to keep the gearbox away from any exposure to vibrations. Please note that your warranty could be affected by leaving the gearbox unshielded outdoors, breaking its sealed condition, or not following the instructions set forth in this video. If you do not have storage facilities that adequately meet these needs, Rexnord may be able to provide safe and secure storage for your gearbox. The unit can then be shipped within 24 hours when needed. Please contact your Rexnord representative to learn more about available storage options. Drives stored in outdoor shelters will need periodic inspection to ensure the integrity of the unit hasn't been compromised. Be sure to inspect the storage condition of the gear drives every 90 days at minimum to ensure area is dry, there is no standing water on the unit, and there is no apparent risk from moisture or vibrations to its continued storage. Make sure to rotate the high-speed shafts until the low-speed shaft has been turned by one-quarter rotation in order to prevent fretting or false brunelling in the gearing and bearings due to static vibrations. Rexnord can perform these procedures on your behalf, so be sure to contact us if you need periodic inspection and maintenance services for your gear drives. Informative tape has been placed on the areas of the drive's critical locations to deter breakage of the sealed condition. If this informative tape has been tampered with or the gear drive is opened for any reason during the factory prepared storage period, certain steps need to be taken to protect the integrity of the unit. These steps are also recommended for drives stored beyond the initial factory preparation period and should be performed prior to the expiration of this period, which is based on the factory ship date stamped on the drive nameplate. Remove inspection cover and inspect for internal water contamination, rust or damage. Drain if necessary. 
rotate shafts to inspect gear teeth which had been in contact and bearings for signs of surface rust. Should minor surface rust be present, remove visible rust and increase inspection frequency after completing these steps. If your gear drive uses mineral or polyalpha olefin oils, recoat the internal components with rust preventative oil. Close the inspection cover, making sure to tighten the inspection cover bolts to the recommended torque rating. Add vapor phase rust inhibitor at a rate of one ounce per cubic foot for internal drive space. For gear drives that have oil installed, add vapor phase rust inhibitor at a rate of 2% of sump capacity. If using G-Max or a polyethylene glycol oil, Ensure that the unit is 100% full to prevent corrosion. Please consult the instruction manual for all the correct lubricants. Reseal the unit and re-grease the exposed shafts. Repeat these steps every 90 days at a minimum until the drive is put into operation. Again, if minor surface rust was present and removed during inspection, be sure to increase inspection frequency. Please contact Rexnord if you are uncertain or need any assistance with any of the steps demonstrated here. Remove all informative tape applied to sealed areas in storage preparation. Remove inspection cover and inspect for internal water contamination, rust or damage. Drain if necessary. Rotate shafts to inspect gear teeth which had been in contact and bearings for signs of surface rust. Should minor surface rust be present, remove visible rust. Contact Rexnord for review if necessary. If components such as dipsticks and breathers have been shipped loose with the drive, remove the plugs and install them. And, depending on the type of gearbox, sealed RTDs may already be installed in the unit prior to shipment or shipped loose with it. Be sure to contact Rexnord for installation instructions for loose shipped RTDs. If using mineral or polyalpha olefin oils, vapor phase rust inhibitor is soluble in recommended lubricating oils and need not be flushed from the drive. G-Max or polyethylene glycol oils are not compatible with the vapor phase rust inhibitor. If the drive has been stored with rust inhibitor, it must be flushed per oil manufacturer's recommendations. If the drive has been prepared for long-term storage with G-Max, remove the standpipe and reduce the oil in the drive to the recommended operating level. Be sure to replace the shaft seals prior to startup, as seals have limited life expectancy from the date of manufacture. Seals can also potentially take a set from the shaft during storage, which could lead to leakages at startup. Close the inspection cover, making sure to tighten the inspection cover bolts to the recommended torque rating. Refer to individual manuals furnished with the gearbox for recommended lubricants and instructions for installation and maintenance. If you have questions or need assistance, please contact Rexnord. The following procedure is recommended when a gear drive is not used for prolonged periods. Examples of intermittent storage are winter layup for marine applications, power plant outages between commissioning and startup, and spare drives. Drain all moisture from the unit and check for damage if water was present. Remove all visible surface rust. If rust cannot be removed, contact Rexnord for a full inspection or repair of your gearbox. If using mineral or polyalpha olefin oils and the unit has been drained of oil, add vapor phase rust inhibitor at the rate of one ounce per cubic foot of internal drive space. For drives that have not been drained of oil, add vapor phase rust inhibitor at a rate of 2% of sump capacity. G-Max and polyethylene glycol oils are not compatible with a vapor phase rust inhibitor. If using G-Max or polyethylene glycol, fill the drive 100% to prevent corrosion. A standpipe must be attached to the top of the drive to allow for oil expansion. Seal the gearbox completely by tightening all gauges and plugs. Remove all vented dipsticks and breathers and replace them with plugs or carefully seal air vents and the area around the dipstick with pressure sensitive tape. Drain all water from any attached cooling system. Remove all moisture from shaft areas near the oil seals and purge the grease cavities or Wrap tape against the seals so that corrosion does not take place near or under the seal area. 
After three months, inspect the external storage condition of the gearbox to ensure area is dry. There is no standing water on the unit, and there is no apparent risk from moisture or vibrations to its continued storage. Remove inspection cover and inspect for internal water contamination, rust or damage. Drain if necessary. Rotate shafts to inspect gear teeth which had been in contact and bearings for signs of surface rust. Should minor surface rust be present, remove visible rust and increase inspection frequency. If using mineral or polyalpha olefin oils, recoat the internal components with rust preventative oil. Close the inspection cover, making sure to tighten the inspection cover bolts to the recommended torque rating. Add vapor phase rust inhibitor at a rate of one ounce per cubic foot of internal drive space. For drives that have oil installed, add vapor phase rust inhibitor at a rate of 2% of sump capacity. G-Max and polyethylene glycol oils are not compatible with a vapor phase rust inhibitor. If using G-Max or a polyethylene glycol, fill the drive 100% to prevent corrosion. A standpipe must be attached to the top of the unit to allow for oil expansion. Reseal the drive and repeat every 90 days until the drive is put into operation. Refer to individual manuals furnished with the drive for recommended lubricants and instructions for installation and maintenance. Please contact Rexnord for more information about Falk, Falk Renew gear drives, long-term storage, and assistance with maintenance procedures.